So you're saying that I can't wear super dark makeup on my fist? Oh, just some uh, random person from 2020. 2020? That's like 30 years from now. That's right, Einstein. Okay, so like, how did you get into my bedroom? Really? That's the first question you're gonna ask someone from the future? Aren't you at all curious as to what's to come in the next 30 years? Oh yeah! Okay, will we be like flying around in spaceships like the Jetsons? Of course not, you jackass. <laughs> well, that's bogus. But there will be a pretty cool piece of technology that allows you to make phone calls, play video games, watch movies, play music, take photos, and much, much more. No way. There's something that does all of that? Yep. In fact, it's about a quarter the size of your Game Boy. What? Oh, there's also a technology that allows you to communicate with your friends and literally see what they're up to even when you're thousands of miles apart. Really? Yep, it's called social media. That is like so wicked cool. Well, sort of. Uh, if you enjoy being bombarded with um, people's opinions on literally everything, um, endless photos of things you really don't care about, and basically every little detail of your friends' mundane lives. Okay. Um, well, what about the music? Is it all like futuristic sounding and totally different? Um, no. <laughs> Music won't change as much as you might think it will. However, the lyrics in some songs might surprise you. Try me. Okay, you asked for it. Um, here's a song that debuted at number one um, in the Billboard charts for 2020. It's called WAP. Okay, I said certified freak seven days a week, wet ass pussy, make that pull game weak. Yeah, you fuck with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Beat it up. Macaroni in a pot. That's some wet ass pussy. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. That's number one. Uh, yep. That though. Okay. What? Oh, not only in the US, but also in Australia. Uh, New Zealand, Greece, Lithuania, um, and I thought Like a Virgin was risque. And what if I told you that this very song was deemed the epitome of female empowerment? What? But I guess it's not that insane when you consider the fact that our president is a reality star, so... Wait, what do you mean by reality star? Oh, that's right. <sighs> That's not a thing yet. Um, well, get ready for an onslaught of the most irritating and talentless attention whores to take over television. In fact, you might wanna enjoy MTV while it's still about music. Same with VH1. Speaking of TV, uh, do you watch The Cosby Show? Yeah, love that show. <laughs> what about it? Okay, um, I won't ruin that for you then. Okay, what about the fashion? Will that be different? Oddly enough, 2020 fashion isn't that different from 1990. Um, women wear leggings, high-waisted jeans, crop tops, overalls, scrunchies. Um, fanny packs are even popular. Of course, they're trying to remarket it as a belt bag, which it's the same thing, okay? It's something you wear in front of your badge. So basically, I should just hold on to my entire wardrobe then? That's actually not a bad idea. But there are some differences. Um, instead of trying to minimize your ass, um, women in 2020 are trying to make it look bigger. Bigger? <laughs> Why would you wanna do that? Beats me. Um, there's also this thing called twerking. Twerking? But you know, we don't need to get into that. Okay, so what if I told you there's a men's hairstyle that's just as cringeworthy as the mullet? 
It's called a man bun. Man bun? It's literally just a man who puts all of his hair up in a bun on the top of his head. They think they look like some cool samurai, but in reality, they just look like another soccer mom. Oh, and since Halloween's coming up, okay, whatever you do, never ever dress up as um, a geisha, an Indian, a gypsy, or literally anything that could have some kind of culture related to it, okay? Just trust me. Oh, no problem. I'm actually gonna go as Whitney Houston this year. I wanna dance with somebody. That's probably not a good idea. Are you gonna wear makeup? I was just gonna put some black. Okay, don't, don't. Like, I, not even like brown makeup? No. So you're saying that I can't wear super dark makeup on my fist? Um, how about you go as someone not black? Like, maybe like Barbie. Yeah? I mean, that's a safe costume, right? I don't want to go as a Barbie. <sighs> you don't want to risk getting canceled, okay? What do you mean by canceled? It's when a person with no life decides to ruin another person's life by um, digging into their past, looking for literally anything that could be deemed offensive. Well, it's not offensive until like 2015-ish. Uh, that's when people become offended. So you, you gotta be careful. You, you literally gotta be careful every single thing that you do. Well, at least that's recorded. 2020 sounds super boring, okay? It's not as red as I thought it would be. Yeah, um, I guess I better not get into the big stuff that happens in 2020. Um, what do you mean? I don't think you're ready for it. You're not gonna tell me? No. Okay, like you have to tell me what happens. I might come back in five to 10 years and tell you, but I don't think you're ready for it right now. Okay, you're, you're just too young, too naive and innocent. Why can't you just tell me what it is already? Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, it's just a lot of hand washing, toilet paper hoarding, um, staying home, criticizing others for just living their lives. Um, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And hey, if you're an introvert, it's basically paradise, okay? I swear, I won't freak out. Tell me. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Bye. Great. Now I'm gonna be like freaked out for the next 30 years, okay? Well, if it makes you feel any better, there's about 50 different Oreo flavors in 2020. Did you just... Did you just say 50 flavors of Oreos? <laughs> okay. That is big news, big news, huge.